All right, so this is the uh, teardown of the Norco 4020 drive case, I guess, or server case. Before you do anything, you must make sure if you are running Unraid to capture your drive configuration so that when you put all this stuff back after you add a controller card, you don't lose your array because that would be bad. People would cry. So the reason for this, uh, reason for the rebuild is the, uh, the new Supermicro uh, 8 port SATA controller um, which is going to take over on the PCI Express bus and hopefully give a little better throughput to um, to the drives inside the inside the case. So it's a pretty pretty decent card um, from what I was reading on anyway. It uses these uh, breakout cables that uh, you have one end that then connects uh, like a SATA multi-lane cable and breaks out to uh, four individual SATA cables on the other end and that will connect to your individual devices and then this guy just basically locks in nice in there. So, the whole idea with this is that we're going to reassemble this and have everything come back up and work. That's the plan. Anyway, so a little, the reason for making this video too was to get a, a better quality video in terms of um, what the case looked like and how you put it together and all that kind of stuff. So, my good friend Steve is helping me here and, and my good friend Sean is being ah! Alright, so this is the, uh, the, the back end of the case, basically. Um, here you can see the back plane for uh, the drives, and uh, we'll come around the front later and, and show you the drives. But basically, each one of them, each one of the back planes has uh, two independent SATA controller, uh, or SATA cable uh, links, and those obviously go back to the SATA controller. So this is uh, four banks of five uh, drives each, so you have 20 drives all together. Um, the Molex power on this side, uh, I have both banks plugged in right now, you can see there's a bank here and a bank here. Um, this is really only for redundant power, if you have another power supply you can power the bank here in case the power supply goes, it'll, it'll provide redundant power, so it's stupid that I have them both plugged in, but... No, if a rail goes. If a rail goes, sure. Um, so it also includes a sp spot on top for a two and a half inch uh, drive, as well as a slim uh, USB or, or sorry, just slim DVD or, or CD drive, if you need to have any kind of OS put in. We of course are using Unraid, so the entire operating system for Unraid uh, fits on a USB flash, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, so at the back of the uh, of the drive bays, there is a fan shroud that. Um, is four 80 millimeter fans. Everybody online says that this thing is like ridiculously loud. But I guess if you're if you're going to have it at your desk, sure. But I mean, if you ever worked with a server before, or any kind of like, I guess disk array, it's not that loud. No, no. And uh, I was worried. I thought maybe these wouldn't move enough air, but um, it turns out they they move a lot of air. And the drives consistently stay cool. I don't have any um, kind of uh, cooling in my server room, or as we call it, the basement. Um, it's just the natural whatever it happens to be down there. Uh, and they, they haven't hit over 34 or 35 degrees, so it's, it's pretty cool. Um, anyway, after that is, is the motherboard. Um, so I said we would go into a little, a little better detail about the board as well, because some, some of you wanted to know. Um, this is basically an Asus M4A785M board. Absolutely nothing, uh, nothing spectacular, but it's just a plain Jane micro board. Uh, micro board. Um, it's powered by an. Is this, was this an E series mm -hmm. CPU? Mm -hmm. uh, so it's an E series dual core uh, AMD CPU, and uh, we chose the E series because it was um, more energy efficient. The whole thing about Unraid, Unraid's all RAM intensive anyway, so it, it doesn't much matter um, for CPU power. This is just a uh, Thermaltake 750 watt um, power supply. The only reason I chose this was because, I don't know if you can get a shot of that in there, but the power supplies are uh, modular, so you don't have to um, you don't have to have them all plugged in. You can, so basically you, you don't need a whole bunch of wires cluttering up the system and, and, and reducing airflow. So Anyway, um, so apart from that, yeah, it's the Asus board, an AMD chip, it's got uh, 2 gig of RAM in it, which is more than enough. Uh, we chose this particular model of motherboard because it has uh, six onboard SATA connectors, which I don't know if you can see between the wires there. We're going to be pulling all those off anyway, but uh, six onboard SATA, 
and right now it's using six onboard SATA plus two uh, four port PCI um, SATA controllers. So the plan is that we're going to be replacing uh, most of these connections onto the PCI Express bus and then we're just going to have these ones running as, you know, in case I, I need to put in more drives. <laughs> Which we always need to put in more drives. How much space you got left? Oh, we're, we're tied right now, right? What do, what do you got? I got 20. You have 22. I have 22. Your have drive's on RMA. Yeah, yeah, okay. So there's 22 terabytes in here right now. And out of the 22 terabytes, there's four. Three. three. Oh, but this is just a processing card, so it doesn't really count. Well, it would be 22 and a half then. But, um, anyway, so a, a lot of people asked about, about this drive up here. What is, it, what is it there for? What does it do? Um, basically, because the operating system runs from the, the USB flash key, um, we decided to load most of the processing software, if you want to call it that, onto this computer as well. So what happens is this computer is responsible for downloading, unpacking, sorting, and renaming. Uh, TV shows. And so that, that way you're not unpacking on a parity drive. I'm not unpacking on the on the array. So basically Unraid runs as, as a protected array and when I'm unpacking stuff and, and, and downloading stuff I'm not using the, I'm not writing parity for all that so it's not wasting the, the cycles and that was that was Steve's idea so that worked out incredibly well. Um, also the benefit to this is it can be hooked up um, on the onboard, so the moving of the stuff is pretty quick from one to the other. And um, you know, if, if this drive goes, it doesn't affect anything. I just you know pop in another one. So the processing software that we use is uh, SAB NZBD Plus, Sickbeard, and that's that's pretty much, pretty much Mighty Crab, which which is nearing the alpha stage. All right. Um, so without further ado, we will uh, disassemble this. We'll pop in the uh, the RAID card. And then we'll uh, we'll get back to you when everything's sort of semi back together.